What's up guys, how you doing? Here's Florence once again and today I'm gonna show you a really cool screen saver for the Mac. And I will show you, here it is. And it's actually inspired by the iOS 7 lock screen. So let's download this thing and I'm gonna show you how to install it. So it's not a large file, it's 4 uh, megabytes. So let's close this out. So it comes with a dedicated installer, but I believe it won't work because I have a PowerPC Mac. But also for the PowerPC Mac users, I found a way out. So you're gonna right click the installer file package contents go to contents resources and there's the QTZ file so now let's open up another finder window and go to folder and go to library screensavers I will leave this code down in the description as well as the site where you can download the screensaver so as you see I've already installed it on my Mac so here it is but for you guys I will install it another time so let's drag you only have to drag this thing up in here and of course if you have an Intel Mac I believe it will work the installer file will work with an Intel Mac so you can just run the installer file but for the PowerPC Mac users this method is the only way to install this so let's close out all the final windows and go to system preferences go to screensaver and wait for this to open up So here's the screensaver section. Let's wait for this thing to load up one more time. So here it is. I've selected it already. But if you don't, you can just press this and it will select. So let's show you how this looks in uh, real life. So let's test it. So here it is. It's very nice as you see and the press key to unlock section is also blinking and on the upper right side you see your account username and in the middle of course the time so if you want to go out of this you can press a key to unlock or move the mouse so let's go back go to options and as you see this thing has various options pretty much actually you can change the chat text but i found this not working on my mac i don't know if it's my mac or that it's a bug in the software but here it is actually a very nice looking wallpaper so i hope you guys enjoy it it's definitely for all macs up up to uh, mavericks and the minimum requirement I believe is OS X 10.4. So hope you enjoy it. Have a nice week and see you all in the next video. Goodbye.